Diaz. Good morning, welcome. We'll start the press conference. There will be a first uh, set of questions for the player and then a second set of player for the coach. Remember, as usual, introduce yourself on the media. Questions for Hamas Rodriguez. I would like to know how you see yourself if you're uh, right uh, shaped up or if you if we have to wait for the best Hamas. It'll be a while yet. I just want to train well. Every day I work well. I'm with something new, with a new group, so little by little I'm uh, improving. And also every day I'm physically better and mentally better. There is a bit of a disappointment for the beginning of the season. I would like to know if uh, you're surprised about this, everything uh, around the club for just losing a couple of matches or you expected something like this in this club. I think we started uh, bad, right? But we have players to uh, come out of this. I think there is uh, no point in being extremist. This is just beginning. And I believe that we can uh, start winning Tomorrow will be a wonderful opportunity to uh, start winning and to come out and do everything right. What have you talked about in the kitchen yesterday and uh, today after Saturday, after these last two defeats? Have there been any self-criticism? What happened with the team? This is day by day. I believe that uh, when you win and you lose, this is day by day. You cannot be looking back and you have to look uh, day by day, match by match. So I believe it's something new and tomorrow we have to come out and to win. I'd like to know personally if this beginning of the season it's uh, being important, the high price they pay for you. Nope, not at all. I just want to play. I just want to train. I came here as uh, another one of the team, and I just want to train well. So when I have the opportunity to play well and at a high level. Tomorrow will be your debut in Champions with the Champion of Europe. What will this match mean for you? I'll be happy because I will be in a beautiful stadium, in a stadium where I always dreamt to play. So I hope we can start by winning and to be able to help so the team wins. From Switzerland. Dream about Real Madrid. And when did you know I want to play Real Madrid one day? Bueno, yo siempre soñé jugar acá. I've always dreamed to play with Real Madrid since I was a kid. It was always something that I wanted to do. And now that I'm here, I hope I can give everything so I can be many years uh, in this club. Expect uh, tomorrow, and do you think that Basel have a chance to to get a, uh, to to get a point here in Madrid? Bueno, un partido duro. It will be a tough match. I think they have good players. 
but we have to come out to win. We have to play intensively, we have to press them. And we are playing home, so we have to respect that and to come out to win. Hello, James. Basilea has a Japanese player, Kakitani, who played against Brazil in the World Cup. Maybe you remember about this forward player. Kakitani is the name of the player. He's good, but uh, we have to pay attention with to all of them because they have good players. And you have to pay attention because they are very dangerous uh, when they play uh, up there. From the pit, how do you see the how do you see the game with uh, Atletico de Madrid? What did you miss to win? I think we missed luck. They didn't uh, reach a lot, but they uh, scored. We had some clear options, but we have to be even more clear when uh, we need to uh, score. So we need to train that and to work on that. If there are no further questions to Hamas, we'll go to Carlo Ancelotti, the coach. Good afternoon. The season, champion seasons begin four months ago. You managed the team who won the 10th. Things went to the worst. So how do you feel? strong, reinforced after what happened at the beginning of the season. How do you feel? Backed up? I feel like a coach who has to fix some things in a team, like it happened last year. This match comes in the right time, because I believe each match could be good to have a good reaction to show what we have as a good thing in the team. So I hope that tomorrow will be a good a good match for us. So we'll start this season with the right foot. Last year we were very motivated, very excited about this competition. We're going to be very competitive. We're going to try to win it again. You said after you lost in Anoe that something had to change and that you're going to change in the lineup. Not a lot of things changed since Saturday. I don't know if you meant an attitude or if you mean to change players. It's a, I was talking about the attitude, so I didn't change the lineup. For tomorrow, it's uh, the same thing. I believe the problem is uh, clear. It's not that complicated. It's clear we need more continuity. What I said, if uh, we compare what happened last year and the level of uh, game from uh, this year, if we compare with last year, it's a lot better this year. So we don't need the we need the continuity with the 90 minutes, not the 30 that we're playing in uh, against Atletico. The first 30 I liked a lot. Good afternoon. To close or to try and temper close the debate in the goal. What would have to happen so there would be a change in the goal independently of being injured? The debate for me, it's close. With my word, I have to close it. I want to be clear. The debate in our team does not exist, a debate for the goal, so I'm not going to feed a debate uh, with my words. I'll never talk about the goalkeepers in this season. You're saying that there's no continuity? Do you mean this is just a mental thing? Or there's a problem in the machine, it's something physical? I believe it's usually been uh, having the habit of working in a specific way, and we have to get used to new players like Hammers, like Cross. We have to find uh, to try and be more natural in our game. So I don't think it's a lack of attitude. 
because players were professionals. And after August 2, when we uh, won the Super Cup, and it's the same now, I'm happy with this, uh, the professionalism of this uh, squad. I believe it's very important to be very focused because in football it's normal to go through stages like this. We have to focus on the small details about the match because right now those are the most important things. Good afternoon. August 12th in Cardiff, Real Madrid won the Super Cup for Europe with uh, quite a good game for the 90 minutes. A month and a day afterwards, uh, except some uh, small changes, Real Madrid loses 1-2 against Atletico de Madrid in Bernabeu. What changed in those 32 days? Maybe that when there's no continuity, when there's no naturality, doing a good match, uh, it's uh, difficult. We had some player who did not play and the physical part we have to get players used to to have it in a better physical condition. Players that just got here on August 5th, on August 1st. So that could be that they had a good match, but afterwards there we didn't have a lot of time to get used to the new player, to train. I don't know if you analyze the videos of the uh, play. We had a bit of a problem covering the first post, as happened in Anoeta, when uh, Prieto came, and the same thing happened. So we're working to have a better coverage of the first post which is the most dangerous area in a stop ball. Afterwards, uh, he said something else, but Cristiano said that if he was captain of the team, maybe he, didn't, he wouldn't do the changes. Do you feel that the team doesn't think the players are better, that the team is worse with the new acquisitions than the, what they had before? As I said, I have a very good uh, squad, and everybody, I think all the players think the squad is very good, very competitive. We can fight in all competitions, no doubt about that. No player has any doubt about it. They are all really happy to be in Real Madrid. Because all players understand that the quality of this team is one of the best in Europe. You have three very good midfielders, Baran, Pepe, and Ramos, and two of them play. Are you not thinking about moving one of them to find balance, to move one forward, to cover Vinmot? I'm not, because I think we have enough coverage for all field positions. We have as midfielders uh, some very good ones who have a very good one who hasn't played yet, which is he and he can play sometimes. The other day after the match, you said that you didn't hear the whistling to whistles to Ike Casillas. And I would like to insist in this matter, if you think if that's something that worries you, if you think something specific of this can continue over time and that would damage the team. The only thing I know is that Casillas has experience, has a character, he knows very well this situation, and he will fix it, no problem. What did the players tell you between the talks of yesterday and today that they need to improve? Do they know what they need to improve? What have they done? We analyzed all together what happened. We agreed that there's, uh, we're missing a bit of continuity, that we have to have a better rhythm in the match. We lost a bit of balance when we don't have match control with position, and we all agree with that, and we are working to improve it. Basilea starts being um, a classic. In uh, last year, won Chelsea, 
So what worries you about Basilea, the Basel? It's a very good team. They play a football that I like because they, it's dynamic with good defensive dynamism, good offensive situations. It's a dangerous team because especially at the beginning of the season, last year they won uh, against Chelsea. They'll start the season very soon. They have a good physical condition, especially they have their natural in the game. Football improve over the last 10 years. <coughs> I think that uh, <coughs> all the country improved. Football change. Uh, Switzerland has. Uh, uh, <coughs> made a good uh, things uh, as a national team. Uh, I mean, they are doing a good thing uh, in, in Europe with the local teams. I think that um, every country try to improve and uh, uh, at the same uh, Switzerland. <coughs> Hola, buenas tardes, Mariana. Last year, everybody agreed that winning the tenth was an obsession. What do we have now? The thing, it's not an obsession, it's the motivation of being competitive in the most important competition in the world. We have wonderful memories from last year. We worked, we fought, and we hope we can repeat it this year. We have the possibilities. Um, not hiding that because we're very competitive. And as I've mentioned, I wouldn't change my uh, squad. As I said that last year, I wouldn't change my squad uh, for any other in Europe. El Real Madrid è troppo grande, diciamo, per la squadra della Svizzera. No, no. Tenemos que ser cuidado porque. We have to be careful because this is football and Basel, as I've mentioned, they have a good team. They used to play with quite a precise football style. It's not going to be an easy match. It will be a match where we need to do the best to win. Good morning. One specific question, if you ask the signing of Hamas, and if you think it's a mistake of Xavi Alonso leaving three days before the market closed, because after Di Maria and ha Xavi leaving, it seems that you're missing some midfielders working until the end of the match. I'm very happy that Hamas is here. As I've mentioned, everything we did, we did it together, the club as a unity. So that's it. When I said that I wouldn't change my squad for any in Europe, the answer to this question seems obvious. Mr. Chief Canel, his career as a coach, Lei, if not wrong, has won three championships and three champions. Lei has a feeling special with the champions that he doesn't find with the competition national. No, 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 creo. I don't think so. I just think that uh, I've trained uh, teams. And that for which uh, champions is very important. For Milan was very important. For Real Madrid was very important. I believe this is the most important competition for us. So I don't think that uh, my work with change is the same as a coach for the Liga and for the Cup. I just did uh, better as a result for the champions, but I don't know exactly why. Usually, you coaches like to have an idea of a football concept that is pre established last year, last season. You had to change a number of times the system. Do you think this will? This season it will be the same, and I'm not talking about the specific things or being injured, but the system as the system that you like. 
the system changes according to the player's features, so the players are in the best condition to play. This is the reason why the system changes. Players are used to uh, play or they feel comfortable within the system. I have no problem to change it. Saturday, some players were whistled. Uh, are you worried about tomorrow's uh, reaction in Bernabeu? The fans follow what happens in the field, what players do. Players know very well the fans. If we play well, the fans are with us. And if we play poorly, the fans will demand more from us. It's not such a weird thing. It's normal. Thank you.